Hi there, everyone. Uh, this video is going to briefly show you how to uh, add rooms to a Revit model. So um, this is a situation where you might want if, if I've already got components in my room, like obviously this is the bathroom, obviously this is the kitchen over here. And so that is uh, what we're seeing right there. I'm just going to change my view setting there for a second. There we go. Um, but Sometimes if you didn't have all these components in these spaces, you might not be able to tell what these rooms were. Like if these beds weren't here, well, like what the heck are those rooms? Well, maybe they have closets, so maybe they're bedrooms, but maybe we totally can't tell. So if you're just trying to quickly hash out a, a, a house or a structure and chop up the space into rooms, but you don't have time right now to add all the components in, these room labels can really help you. So uh, to add a room, you just click on room or you can actually hit RM on the keyboard. And uh, there's different label styles, but we're just gonna stick with the very basic one right now. You're in the floor plan you want. And you notice when you hover in a room, like in a space that's enclosed by walls, um, you're, it, it will sort of extend and it will fill that room with a label. Um, now in this case, this is sort of two rooms, so I'll talk about that in a moment, but let's start up here. I'm just gonna click. And I like to actually just add all the room labels first. So that'll be a bedroom. We'll, we'll rename them in a minute. That'll be a bedroom. This will be a bathroom. And this is really going to be two spaces. So that's what I want to uh, do for a second here. So I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard to cancel out my room command. And I'm actually going to add a room separator. And this, just like it says, creates a separation line to bound rooms when there's no walls there. So this can still help you organize the space. So in this situation, let's say that the kitchen is going to end here. What this really does is it's just going to draw a light line that's going to help. So it's almost like a pretend wall that the room command will see as a wall and it will help separate these rooms. So I'm going to get back into the room command. This time I'm going to hit R and then M on the keyboard just because it's quicker. And then I will put a room marker in this room as well as this one. So now I'll hit escape. Now is when we get to rename these rooms. So if you just click and then click again, so it's kind of two clicks, not a double click. You click once to pick the room and then click again on the word there. And now you can type this in. So we'll call this the M bed, the master bed. Just keep it brief, you know. This is just a regular bed. Bed. Uh, this would be the bathroom. So one click, then another click. Bath. We'll call this the living room. Just living. We'll call this the kitchen. Okay. And another thing you may want to change here, I find these numbers to be pesky. There are times where you would want them, but right now I don't really want them there. So with nothing selected, if you pick one of these rooms, just the label, just one click and you hit edit type. You can untick the box for showing the room number and watch, since these were all the same type of label, when I click okay, all those numbers will disappear. So this can be just a quick, easy way uh, to label your spaces in your house, especially if you're doing something larger and you're not gonna spend time putting the components in yet, but you're just trying to work in Revit, I find this to be really helpful. You can delete these, when you delete the label, it still actually keeps the room in existence by that room number. So uh, that is something that you can go back in there and tag the rooms again. But if you delete it a second time, that does delete it from the views. But there's some issues with that. So, um, you know, that this is mostly for us for now for, um, you know, labeling purposes and logistics. So hope this helps.